Hi, I'm Michael Dye, and in this video we're going to talk about the Eastern Coach Whip Snake. Let's start with its common name. Why is it called a Coach Whip Snake? Is it because they move through the woods whipping their tail? No, but some people think it's why. Their name comes from the pattern on their tail, in which some snakes have a red coloration that resembles a braided whip. Now where in Florida can you see a coach whip snake? I'm gonna tell you. Coach whip snakes range throughout the whole state, except for the wetlands in most of South Florida, also excluding the Keys. Habitat they like is wide open and mostly sandy, such as overgrown fields, sand hills, the scrubs, scrubby flatwoods, and coastal dunes. That's right, next time you're walking on that beach boardwalk, look to the side and you might see one. Coach whip snakes are daytime active hunters. By that, I mean they don't sit and wait like an ambush predator. They actively seek their prey. Similar to black racers, coach whip snakes eat a wide variety of prey. Birds, frogs, small mammals, baby turtles, and other snakes. However, in the southeast, their favorite seems to be six-line race runners. When they are actively foraging, they periscope as they move through habitat. It's a cool sight to see. I wish I had a picture of it. Coach whip snakes are also very quick, even faster than the black racer. They top out at 3.7 miles per hour. Coach whip snakes may be the longest snake here in America. Its record is at 102 inches, which is only a little bit less than the indigo snake. Average is 40 to 60 inches. The babies are 6 to 7 inches. And that's it for this video. If you want to learn about the Eastern Indigo Snake, click on the suggested video. And also, if this video brought in your knowledge base just a little bit, go ahead and give me a like. There's also that subscribe button too. Thanks. Bye.